Lions Calcutta Greater Vidya Mandir has been recognized as the 19th best school in the state of West Bengal. Now, you see when the pandemic broke in 1920 and the world over we had to, you know, lock, uh, declare a lockdown. Education was, you can say something where you could lock down things. So we instantly switched over to online classes and that was as early as 4th of April 2020. It was a big challenge for the teachers also because they were not ever taught you know, to teach online. The classes that we have already been conducted, the offline classes, you know, the body language has a very, very major role to play. But when you are teaching a child online, that contact, the eye contact, the, you can say the lack of body language is very disturbing to the teacher. So, I, as the president of this, you know, school management committee, wanted a daily feedback on the attendance of the children, you know, who are online, attending the online classes. And one day, I also took this, one of these lessons that was being presented by the teacher. She was doing the presentation on her mobile phone. And I was also using a mobile phone to, you see, what she was teaching. And it was totally unimpressive, you know, to take, you can say, catch a child's attention for four, five periods in a day. It was something impossible. So immediately we decided one thing, that all the teachers will have to come to the school, irrespective of the COVID. And we arranged for special transport. The teachers were picked up from their residences and we brought them to the school. And that was the time when we first initiated, you know, installing these smart boards. <coughs> now this is a Wi-Fi enabled smart board touch screen and a presentation made on this which was photographed on a camera and then you know we had to display it to the students. So it was subsequently relayed to the students and definitely the you can say classes which were conducted on these smart boards and relayed were much better than the one which was conducted on a telephone. So despite the lockdown, we immediately switched over to all the classrooms on smart boards. And today, I think we may be one of the rare schools in India which have 100% Wi-Fi enabled smart boards. We have 70 classrooms, all of them are having Wi-Fi enabled smart boards. Like I have just explained, you know, the challenges which a teacher had to undergo teaching online. Now one thing which we experienced was that the classes that we were conducting online, there was a cross, you can say, absolutism in it. We tried to probe, you know, that why so many students are regularly irregular. And then it came to our knowledge that many of them could not attend these classes because they did not have a device. Two children were sharing one device. Their family had only one smartphone. At that particular moment, you know, Rohit Bhai expired and PID Sangeeta came up with an idea that we should, you know, pay a homage to PID, uh, uh, sorry, past president Rohit Bhai and give something to a major service activity. So we decided to give tablets to about 100 students who did not have a device to attend the online classes. Subsequently, it was brought to our knowledge that though we had given the device, the children couldn't go and attend the classes because they didn't have Wi-Fi. So we gave them the Wi-Fi also, so that maximum students could attend to these classes. And in the state of West Bengal, only 13% of the schools were able to provide online classes during these two years of lockdown. 
Now, one of the things that we were experiencing over there, you know, was the student discipline, which took a bit high, you know, beating because the students were very smart. They would just put a photograph over there that they are attending the online classes, whereas they were roaming around or they were, you could say, enjoying themselves. Irregularity, many of them didn't attend these classes regularly. And then, of course, punctuality. Because you were there for some time, then you just walked away. So these were some experiences which we realized what damage they have done post-COVID period when the students started coming to school. And these are the smart boards and the best advantage of these smart boards is, you know, like supposing a teacher is teaching and simultaneously she wants to show something from Google or download anything from any of these uh, sites, you know, she can do that immediately on the same board, the board can be divided. The screen can be put into seven colors, you can use different pens for writing and everything. So it's a highly technical thing and it has made revolution, it's a revolution in teaching. The kids are really enjoying what is being taught because it's an audio-visual impact. See, during the COVID, one thing that we experienced was that many families, the bread earner, you know, had lost his job. Or even if you were self-employed, there was a, you can say, downfall in your income. So we gave a flat discount of 25% to all our students. Subsequently, there were many who said even we could uh, you know, pay the balance fees. So we waived off that fees also for the entire, everybody who came to us and he said that they are not in a position to pay the fees. We waived off their fees. I think the total uh, fees waived off that was done during those two years was almost to the tune of around 80 lakhs. And it was most unfortunate that 30 of our students lost their father during this COVID. So we have decided to impart education to them, to class 12, free of cost. The school will bear the cost of their books as well as their uniform, as long as they are associated with the club. So now, you see, what we are trying to do is a holistic development of the child. So we have introduced art and craft, <coughs> where we teach them drawing, painting and sculpture. For balancing the mind, we teach them yoga, meditation, then we teach them music, vocal and six instruments are taught. You can take one of your choice. Then we have dances, classical as well as western. We have a gymnastics arena. We teach them martial arts and special uh, classes are conducted for the girls. We teach them self-defense. We have introduced artificial <coughs> intelligence, robotics. And from class 5 onwards, we have made it compulsory to learn Sanskrit. When we, you know, I appointed this uh, teacher, you know, I told her in two words her curriculum, Sanskrit and Sanskriti. These are the two things you need to teach the children. And on the walls of Vidya Mandir, we have displayed 325 paintings which highlight the contribution of many of our, you can say, say Rajas, Maharajas who do not feature in the history books. The contribution we have made to, you can say, science, mathematics, astronomy, astrology, all these things, they are displayed there. Now, 
We have made an arrangement with the German university and they have agreed to give post-graduation and graduation to, free of cost uh, to our students, provided they know German, they are German competent up to B2 level. So A1, A2, B1, B2. In four years, 9, 10, 11, 12, we ensure that the student, and it is mandatory, everybody 